think the, the opportunity, I always trust him with every word that comes out of my mouth. And uh, there's something, there's a spirit that grabs me, right? And it's in every one of you guys. But the question is, how much time are we wasting? I just came out of the gym for three hours this morning. I got five hours of sleep. That's it. Every day of my life, I'm trying to find a different way to get better. My coach didn't tell me to do this. Remember, we in a lockout. So I ain't training for football. I'm training for a lifestyle. I'm training because I said something that I wanted to be the greatest ever do it. And I'm not done yet. That's, in each, that's, that's inside of each one of y'all. Right there. Each one of you. But the question still remains. How much time will you really waste? If I looked at my clock, if you looked at your phone, time never stops for no one. So one thing God don't give us. When it's your time, it's your time. But now the question is, what will you do to make sure it's your time? When your time is ready, will you be ready? That's what I do, man. That's all I do. That I believe every time I step on it, I'll never cheat one of my teammates. Ever. I never let one of my teammates take a break on me. And I never take a break on them. But man, you guys got an opportunity to do something right now. <clears throat> and when you wake up in the mornings, don't let your alarm clock be the only thing that wakes you up. Make sure you wake up with God on your mind. Make sure you fall to your knees with your face on the floor to say thank you for another opportunity, not just to wake up, but to be a top athlete. Because some people can't see, some people can't walk, some people can't hear. But you're gifted. A scrap on a, or some shoulder pads. Put on your cleats. We all know what that feeling feel like. There's no feeling in the world like it. <clears throat> so now how thankful would you give back to that? Every single day you got to master your craft. That's what it's about. Million kids across this country, man. This one, this one shot. Harsh reality, 1% makes it. One, I heard from everything that I was too small, I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that, okay, and. But nobody's ever stepped in that room with me to get it done. That's what I'm challenging each one of you men today. Don't let coach always have to tell you what to do. Find a way to do it yourself. So that when he get ready to text you, and when he get ready to question you on what a defense should be or what an offense should be, you already got the answers. That's when you start having a real meeting. That's when a coach appreciates coming in a meeting. When before you play your next game, you know that opponent better than the coach know that opponent. It's just competition, right? So when somebody says, oh, are you ready to be done? Why? I ain't found a man that'll fight or outwork me. You might outrun me in a 40. But you ain't gonna fly to outwork me for 60 minutes. I doubt that. Ain't because I got nothing special. The only thing I got special is I made my mind up to be special. Greatness is a lot of small things done well. Stacked on top of each other. Schoolwork, yes ma'am, no ma'am. Pants pulled up over my waist. <clears throat> small things that makes greatness. So when somebody finally sees you, they represent you as a king because you walk as a king. And until you set your mindset to think like a king, then you stay where everybody else is at. And that's the place I didn't want to stay. I wanted to go way beyond that. And that's what I'm still chasing to this day. That's the only reason I was in the gym earlier this morning. That's the only reason I was saying, Lord, whatever it is, I don't know what it is today. But if I can change one life today, just by telling you to be different, <clears throat> do something different, and take God with you, I don't care where you go, then do it. Then do it. And when you do it, let your name be worth more than your bank account. When you're finally ready to go home, <clears throat> make sure your footsteps are remembered. That's the only reason you guys respect me the way y'all respect me. That's it. Because I made up my mind to chase him and really nurture my craft. Really nurture my craft. I've never been the biggest, the fastest, the strongest, and nothing. Nothing. That's why I've all, all, all I have is work. That's all I ever had was my work ethic. From nine years old, I took a deck of cards, which is now three decks of cards. I took a deck of cards and I 
Flip over a card, I do six. Flip over another card, if I get a jack, queen, king, I do 10. If I get an ace, I do 25. If I flip over a joke, I do 50. I mastered that. At nine years old, that deck of cards now turned to three deck of cards. If I brought my bag in here, I'd show you those same three deck of cards that I travel with every day of my life. Because the only thing I know is I can't take a break. Don't ever let a day go by that you waste. Because that's a day you can never get back. These are moments we're talking about. I just want to tell you guys, thank you for letting me come speak to you, man. Because there's some spirit that, that drives in this room that one of you guys, one of these days is going to go back and say, I remember a conversation. And now I'm there. Because the next man will be that next man. <coughs> Knowledge is to be gained and passed along. That's all I'm trying to do today. I'm trying to pass some type of knowledge to somebody else that's going to grab it. I grabbed it differently. I love my father with every inch of my heart. But I grabbed it because I didn't have a father. So all I could grab on to was my relationship with God. My mom worked three jobs. My mom was never home. So mine was different. So my grind, my taste in my mouth was different. I ain't never had money. Never. Now is the time. I started that at nine. You guys are way older than that. So y'all can't waste no more time. You have to make up your mind to do anything you want to do. And don't let nobody, nobody tell you what you can't do. You can look at my story. You can look at Michael Jordan's story. And when a coach said you're not good enough, he went and made himself good enough. Simply by work. So I'm not here to tell you no secrets. I'm here to tell you the only thing I know how to do is work. And the only reason I get up and work every day the way I do is to honor God for blessing me to be able to do it. That's why I keep grinding. And that's why I want to spread to you guys, man. I really wanted to see you guys play today. Of course, you know, it's basketball season, and, you know, we got to watch basketball. And I'm going to disrespect basketball, but there's something different about when you put a helmet on and you strap up from chin strap. It's a different type of contact. And that's what I was waiting to see today. I, of course, we, don't, we can't do it right now, but there's other things I got going on. But, man, I just want to tell you guys, thank you for the opportunity. You know, and um, I'm an open book. Coach will, coach will have some way to get in contact with me before I leave. And I'm an open book to tell you guys, don't ever walk through life alone. Don't ever do it alone. That's the longest walk you'll ever take. It's by yourself. <clears throat> take somebody with you. Take somebody with you. All right? Thank you, guys, man. Champions on three, champions on three. One, two, three, champions! champions.